the tradition, the experience, the events. This is ABC Sports Championship Television. select few whose abilities surpass all others. If the prophecy is true, these chosen ones will meet in an epic battle between two teams to determine the fate of this world of golf. Here we go. They're a combination of force and finesse, mythical figures that fear no one and accept any challenge. Programmed to dominate both here and abroad, they know their strength multiplies with every victory. No one has dared to take these champions on in direct combat until today. You still only human. A fiery mix of might and moxie, able to bend the rules. That's a nice trick. Turning the impossible into the possible. They possess a confidence bred of countless gambles taken in the heat of battle and of an oracle's prediction of great things to come. Today, they have made a choice to find out what they are made of. Forces that you don't understand have brought these teams together to find that greatness for which we all strive. No one knows the outcome. The only certainty in this world is... I'll be watching. Let the great battle begin. ABC Sports and the PGA Tour are proud to present the Lincoln Financial Battle at the Bridges. The Bridges at Rancho Santa Fe, a striking golf course with steep cliffs, deep canyons in the name from these 200-foot-long bridges across those canyons. Spectacular, as you see, straight from the fairway, maybe a glass of wine to your table. Vineyards are uh, being prepared here for future consumption with the centerpiece, a breathtaking 35,000-square-foot Tuscan Village-style clubhouse, which will certainly be gorgeous as late afternoon turns into evening. The last few holes, if we get that far, will be played under the lights. As we have seen in past battles, and we'll see it again in a new battle, which has changed venue from the desert here to the San Diego area, 25 miles north of San Diego, just after 5 o'clock Pacific Daylight Time on the final Monday in July. The 2003 Lincoln Financial Battle at the Bridges. All the players have been very impressed with this golf course. Which will be on TV for the first time here this evening. Get you acquainted. The Bank One course description. Par is 71, just over 6,900 yards here in Rancho Santa Fe. Robert Trent Jones Jr. built this golf course some four years ago, and it is in spectacular condition. It's better ball match play. Two-man teams, and this is as simple as we can explain it to you. Each player plays his own ball. Low score for the team counts for that hole. The team with the lowest score wins the hole, and the team that wins the most holes wins the match. And if for some reason the team is three holes up with a couple of holes left, we all head to the 19th hole and enjoy a Monday evening in Rancho Santa Fe, where the weather has been slightly overcast, but the temperatures are very comfortable. And so thus far, been an interesting match between Sergio Garcia and Phil Mickelson on one side against Tiger Woods and Ernie Elts on the other. Phil Mickelson from this San Diego area. This is a golf course that is his home course. He plays here, oh, about once every 10 days, and only appropriate. He started with a birdie at the first. The team's tied or have the second hole. Then Sergio Garcia on the third for a birdie. And the Mickelson-Garcia team, an explosive team, which can make a lot of birdies, goes two up there. Just a moment ago, the team of Tiger Woods and Ernie Elts unable to convert on their birdie attempts. So we are... Yeah, good job. At the fifth, with this match two up in favor of Garcia and Mickelson. Mike Tirico, along with Curtis Strange and Ian Baker Finch, is down there walking the Bridges golf course with these four players. This would be a miracle if it went in.
She left him short all day. Why well, stop now? <sighs> That's good. Thank you. Well, might as well have a look. <laughs> Oops, see our shadows there. <clears throat> a hundred of them. One, two, three, three shadows. Begin with Mickelson and Garcia, two up playing here the 17th. Tiger and Ernie needed to uh, win this hole. How Seven about match up there, isn't it? Okay. Well, what they did, what they had to do off the tee, Mike. They put it in the fairway, but they hit poor short irons into this yeah, hole. Yeah, like that. Okay. Didn't leave makeable birdie putts at all. But you never know. This is certainly an easier putt than Tiger just had. Not off their other foot short. It's quite a bit downhill. Uh, but sometimes they're the ones that they've been leaving short. Just looks so much quicker than it actually is. And Phil Mickelson right. and Sergio Garcia Tiger, thanks for making will win the 2003 Lincoln Financial Battle of the Bridges. Oh, it's nice playing, Thank you. Thank you very much. Huh? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They'll win two and one. Here tonight, Rancho Santa Fe. We're back to hear from both teams. A reminder, your late local news. Nightline and Jimmy Kimmel will follow that. So stay right there here on your ABC station. Late local news, Nightline and Jimmy Kimmel coming up momentarily. Final score will be officially counted as three and one because the putts were conceded uh, there on the 17th. Oh, the Burley putt to Mickelson. If we were playing the match play event in Carlsbad, it would have been two and one. Here they decide to call it three and one just for the official bookkeeping. And here's Ian <laughs> with both teams. Thanks, Mike. They conceded Phil's putt at the last, so he virtually won the hole because the others made pars, so that's why it went to three and one. But uh, I'm here with both teams, as you can see, guys. I don't know whether to say the losers or the runners-up, <laughs> but uh, a great display. You were seven under par. The, the winners were ten under. Uh, pretty exciting stuff, wasn't it? Mm, it was. Um, I think uh, we didn't get off to the start we needed to, and on top of that, uh, I had some good luck at some putts, three holes on, in a row on the back nine. I didn't make them, and uh, that was, I thought that was key to try and get back to even. And, uh, you know, we never did, and then from there, uh, you know, Sergio made, made a good putt there and a great putt on 16, uh, which really put us behind the eight ball. Ernie, what do you got to say for yourself, bud? Well, you know, I had a great time. I, you know, I've got to thank Tiger for, for bringing us out here. You know, we had a great time, and uh, I would have loved to have, uh, to have you know, won, <laughs> but uh, I think Sergio and Phil, you've got to give them all credit. You know, they played great, and they had a, they had a great start, and they kept us under, the, under pressure. You know, we made some good putts just to kind of stay in this thing, and then... Uh, we didn't make enough on the back nine, so so be it. They played good enough to beat us. Well, you're a great team and uh, great uh, ambassadors for the game. And uh, sorry you couldn't be the winner, but there can only be one. We'll see you again here some other time. Thanks, Thanks fellas. Yeah. Guys, sensational play. Local boy done good. Phil, 10 under par you two were. And uh, do you think it was a little bit of local knowledge that helped you out? Well, it certainly helped knowing the greens, and, and I felt like I had a lot of good looks at it, but I never got to hit them because Sergio kept making every putt. But, you know, I'd like to say one other thing. We all know, our, on behalf of Ernie, myself, and Sergio, and all professional golfers, we want to thank Tiger for making this possible because if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be playing in prime time, and, and we just appreciate the opportunity to do that. It's very nice of you, and it's, it's very true. Everyone wants to see you guys play now. It's become a sexy sport, and everyone's having a great time. Sergio, fantastic stuff. Yeah, it was it was fun. Uh, I think we we both played well, and um, you know when when one was out of the out of the hole, the other one was in there, and uh, we made some key pads um, uh, to 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 get us going on on the front nine, and and then we just uh, hold on to it, and you know it was it was fun playing with uh, with all three, and you know I'm uh, I'm glad I was back, and you know we won again. So. Well, well done, and of course six hundred thousand each to the winners. 250,000 each to the runners-up, and 300,000 of that goes to charity, and I think that's uh, one of the best things about this event. Tiger, thanks for having us here. Ernie, Sergio, and Phil, well done. Mike, back to you, buddy. Thank you, Ian. A reminder to everyone, your late local news coming up next, followed by Nightline with a special tribute to Bob Hope. 
And after that, it is Jimmy Kimmel, all the regular time on the West Coast. Well, on this day of the passing of Bob Hope, the man who brought golf and entertainment together, unlike anyone else, we saw four of the best in the world entertain us. There, they were playing for a lot of money, but they shared laughs and showed a little bit of the personality that has made them individual champions and uh, better people who've made this sport better. Whether it's the showman, the Spaniard, Mickelson playing a home game, number one or number two in the world, they did put on quite a show, keeping the spirit of hope alive tonight. ABC Sports is online at ESPN.com. Keyword ABC Sports. Your late local news is moments away, followed by Nightline and Jimmy Kimball. For all of us, with Curtis Strange and Ian Baker Finch, Mike Tirico, so long from the Lincoln Financial Battle at the Bridges.